10 must-watch Chinese dramas for this summer. Many people use summer to invest in their wanderlust. Sadly, due to COVID, they no longer can do that freely. But who says that the world can't be explored virtually? We invite you to take a trip together with us to the Middle Kingdom, China. We will definitely be discovering new places and having fun. Oh, we've got a list full of light but engaging dramas that will reel you in and tide you over what could be an otherwise boring summer. A lot of the picks are personal favorites, so make sure to keep an eye out for them all. Without further delay, let's dive into the sea of feel-good sea dramas. Just a little note, I'm sorry if I mispronounced the names of these amazing Chinese celebrities. Number 10, Go Princess Go. One way to describe this drama is hilarious, and if you try to describe it further, you'll only come up with more synonyms for the word funny. This drama will not be making a lot of sense, but you definitely will be doubling over in laughter just watching it. Go Princess Go tells the story of Zhang Peng, a modern-day playboy who played around a bit too much and karma got him back for it. One night, his ex-girlfriends decide to team up on him to take their revenge, but it doesn't go as planned, and Zhang Peng stumbles over a woman, makes her fall into a pool, goes after her to save her, then gets hit with platform shoes, and almost drowns. But miraculously, he doesn't. Instead, he goes back in time almost 1,000 years and wakes up in a crown princess's body. Zhang Peng accepts his fate and starts to live as the princess, and not as an imposter in the body of a princess. Coincidentally, falls in love with the crown prince. It's the original work that the hit K-drama Mr. Queen got adapted from. Number 9. The Best of You in My Mind What's the sweetest drama trope ever? We place our bets on the childhood friends to lovers one. This campus drama explores the amusing, full of support, and profound relationship Lindsay Chi and Zhu Feng share. Till high school, Zhu Feng was Lin Chi's underling, but that all changes once they enter college. On the first day, the tables turn when Lindsay Chi loses a bet to Zhu Feng, and much to her dismay, becomes his underling. Everything from that point on is simply hilarious. Supporting him in the archery team and developing a crush of her own, not on him, Zhu Feng realizes that he is deeply in love with her and doesn't want anybody else to have her. Another thing we really liked about this youth drama is the fact that it discusses serious issues that arise in adulthood, like family issues, insecurities, the weight of expectations, and more, while still being fun to watch. Number 8. My Mr. Mermaid this drama brings us back to the shore, which is our topic, summer dramas. And just like the deep ocean, it will only pull you in more and more with each episode. The drama follows the story of a talented and determined swimmer, Mr. Nice, Tang Yibai, who didn't let an obstacle as big as a doping scandal get in his way. He crosses paths with the clumsy, aquaphobic rookie reporter, Yun Do, when the latter rents a room in Tang Yibai's family house. Tang Yibai helps Young Duo to get over her fear of water and she provides him with support in his tough journey. The drama is full of twists, but good ones. Shows the virtue of hard work, has a beautiful portrayal of friendship, not to mention bromance, and it's generally just exciting to watch. Leave a comment if it does! Number 7. Love O2O So many people make online friendships via games, and some might even develop a crush, or even get married to their e-partner. How perfect and far-fetched! Well, maybe it's not that far-fetched if you are Miss Perfect, smart and gorgeous, Wei Wei, and have an equally perfect, smart and gorgeous Zhao Nai. Absolutely crazy about you online and offline. Zhao Nai first catches sight of Wei Wei at an internet cafe, and is highly impressed by her gaming skills, as he also plays that same game. At that same time, Wei Wei was going through an e-divorce and became infamous between the players and the subject of their bullying. Later on, Zhao Nai's character proposes to her and Wei Wei accepts. In real life, Zhao Nai is charming, handsome, and literally good at everything. He is even the president of his own startup company, Yang Yang's and Zhen Chuang's, killer visuals, and generally the innovativeness of the online to offline love relationship plot and the availability on Netflix, so make sure to add it to your list. Number 6. A Love So Beautiful Like the preceding dramas on this list, A Love So Beautiful will sail you into a sea of fluffiness and cuteness, but it's not an easy trip because there is a shark in the form of a love triangle. Zhao Zi and Zhang Chen have been attached at the hip ever since either of them could remember. At 16, Zhao Zi confesses to Zhang Chen and gets rejected, but she doesn't stop pursuing him. And okay, maybe describing the second male lead as a shark was untrue, because Bo Song is more like a dolphin. He's so sweet to Zhao Zi and extremely supportive of her, which only reels in Jing Chen's jealousy. From high school to college to adulthood, a love so beautiful follows Zhao Zi and Jing Chen every step in their long-lasting love. The drama is also available on Netflix. Make sure to click on the Chinese version, not the Korean one. 
or just watch them both. Number 5. Go Go Squid Before we reveal number 5, let's play a round of Never Have I Ever. Have you ever had a crush on an older person? Hmm, maybe we can see you raising your hands and your glasses. And well, you're just like Tong Yeon from Go Go Squid. The 20-year-old singer immediately falls for the 30-year-old Han Chang Yeon, an owner of a professional gamers club, upon seeing him in an internet cafe. And it seems that fate is on her side, because through sheer coincidences, out they keep getting brought together. Through their continuous meetings, they get tangled in a mess of misunderstandings that lead them to fake date. With time, the cheerful and bubbly Tong Yang melts the walls of his stoicism and indifference that Hong Shen Yang has built around himself. Give us a like if you'll be watching it. Number 4. Lucky's First Love Oh, this office drama might be a little distant from the sea and summer altogether, but it sure is worth your time. Lucky's First Love tells the story of Xing Yun, whose name translates to Lucky in English, and how she acquires her first love. Luckily for her, it's right in front of her. Unlikely for her, her first love happens to be her rich, demanding, and childish boss, Zai Qi, who likes to bully her around a bit too much, though neither come to the realization that they are in love with each other until a little bit later. It plays out like this. Xin Young wants to take part in the company's new romance-themed virtual game, but Zai Qi sarcastically tells her to secure a date first. Before thinking of joining, you'll genuinely have a good time, and the cherry on top, Bai Lu and Jing Zaolin are one of the best kissers in Sea Drama Land. Mwah. Number 3. Put Your Head on My Shoulder No one likes having their parents intervene in their lives especially not the love aspect of it. But put your head on my shoulder will make you thank your parents for being so nosy. Our leads are the determined, independent girl, Sitomo, and the handsome genius boy, Weiye. The two first meet by accident, quite literally. Sitomo was riding on the back of her non-official boyfriend, Fupe, when Weiye crashed into them. And because Sitomo was in a rush, Weiyu gave her a ride, but accidentally swapped bags with her. Later on, when Sitomo gets an internship, her mom convinces her to move out of her dorms and stay in her acquaintance's place, as it happens to be close to her workplace. What Sitomo didn't know is that her roommate is none other than Wei Yi, one of the best in its genre. Number 2. Le Coup de Poudre No matter how good the dramas with realistic plots are, Nothing beats based on true story sea dramas. This drama, which can be found on Netflix, tells the profound love story between Zhao Yi and her husband Yan Mo in their high school years. The two sat next to each other, and despite having absolutely nothing in common, they managed to develop a tight relationship, and they even planned to study abroad together. Kuai Yi couldn't accompany him and gradually lost touch. Fast forward six years later, Kuai Yi is a scriptwriter at a local company where she encounters Yan Mo, who her boss demands that she get an interview out of. And when they have to go separate ways again, Kuai Yi refuses that fate and follows him to Beijing to win his heart. Le Coup de Foudre is well portrayed and has the best balanced combination of sweet love and realistic sequences of events. The lead lineup is also a stunning one, so it definitely deserved to land number two on our list. Number 1. Romance of the Tiger and the Rose Have you ever had something go so wrong yet end up being so right? Well, maybe you haven't, but when Cheng Zhaokuan of The Romance of the Tiger and Rose certainly had, screenwriter Cheng Zhaokuan argues with Min Jing, the actor playing the main character of her story, who rushes her to modify the script while being sick. Next time she wakes up, she finds herself trapped in her own story. And while she thanks her lucky stars she didn't write a gory story, she isn't entirely safe because Quing Quing, the character she got trapped inside of, is meant to get poisoned to death early on in the story. She thinks she'd return to the real world if she dies. Instead, she survives, and now she's forced to bear with her husband, Han Shou. From the storyline to the characters, to the interesting era it's set in, this drama is extremely likable. But what truly takes the cake is the casting. It's just so spot on. The leads Zhao Lucy and Ryan Ding did an awesome job playing their roles and also props to the support cast, they did great as well. Overall, this is certainly a drama you will enjoy to the fullest and binge in less than two days, just like we did. So that's a wrap for our top 10 must-watch Chinese dramas this summer. Did you like our list? And have you seen any of these dramas? Let us know which ones in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, MDLers. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos from My Drama List. I'm your host, at Happy Squeak.